Hey guys, on this video I'm going to create a complex design in Photoshop. It will be kinda on a 3D style and I will use several techniques and effects which many of them have been used on some of my previous tutorials, so I will explain the most important parts of the process. However, if you'd like to have a more detailed tutorial, check the videos I have added below on the description and of course add any questions on the comments if you need any help. The first part includes a quick lettering created on the iPad using the Procreate app. I find Procreate way easier for lettering and calligraphy because the pen and especially the brushes are a lot smoother than Photoshop, so that's why I'm using it for this. I start by creating some guides which will help on having the same height in the letters, or about the same because on lettering you can just draw the letters on any style you like. For better control, I create each line of the letter separately and also in a different layer. Regarding the brush I'm using, I will leave a link on the description about where you can find it. The design will have two words, which can be also combined as one. Only the first part of the word will be made using Procreate, and that's because I need to have different styles on each part. You will see shortly what I mean. So the first part is the word Micro, and I'm using a more script style for it. When I will finish with the first part, I export the file and transfer it to Photoshop on my computer. So I open Photoshop and I create a new document. In this case, it will be 6000 by 6000 pixels at 72 dpi. I will not add the lettering I created earlier yet, as I'm going to start with the second word using the pen tool. So let's start by making the background black. Then, in order to use the mixer brush tool with a colorful effect, I will need one image to load my brush and another image to draw on it. I will add the first one which will help me to load my brush. Next I take the mixer brush tool, which at the moment is loaded with this image here because I used it earlier. Uh, by the way, I will need to rasterize the layer too. But in order to load it, you press and hold the option or alt key and click on the spot you need. By the way, you can also change the size of the brush. Uh, I will take this spot here. Then I don't need this image anymore, so I delete it. And I'm going to place another colorful image, where I will draw with a loaded brush on it. I will not use it as a background, I just need to draw the letters on it, because the mixer brush will have the loaded colors, but also will mix them with the pink colors from this image. You can adjust the amount of mix by changing these settings here at the top, but also make sure you have the sample or layers thick. Then double check that the space of the brush is set to minimum. Next create a new layer and draw the first letter. So as you can see, we take the color from the loaded brush, we mix it with a pink image and then the letters is drawn on a new layer. Do the same for all the letters, each one in different layer. Or if you prefer you can even make each line of each letter in different layer, because probably this will help you when adding shadows later. I will also copy some parts of the pink background, especially some bubbles, because it will be interesting to put them on the design later. Now let's increase the speed of the video to skip all the details of creating its letter. Ok, now we can hide the pink image, we are going to work on a darker background. Adjust the size of the letters a bit. Let's add also the lettering I created earlier in Procreate. Next, I'm going to edit each letter separately. For example, on the first letter, the letter C, we have one layer, which is the actual letter, and one layer that is the bubbles. 
From that, I will keep only the bubbles I need by hiding the rest with a mask. I can use also some splatter brushes on the mask to create a splatter effect at the top like that. I will do the same for other letters. Ok, so now that I have added these details, I would like to add some shadows on each letter manually. On the layers panel, each color is a different letter. I'm going to add a new layer above the first letter and make it a clipping mask, so whatever I draw is visible only on the area of the letter. Next I'm going to take the brush tool with a smooth fading brush in black color and start drawing the shadows manually. By the way, I'm using a pen tablet which helps a lot with the pressure sensitivity. The harder I press the pen, the higher the opacity of the color. I will do this with all the letters and in some cases I will need to make selections of the areas I need to add the shadows. For example, in letter O, I am selecting an area using the selection tool in circle shape and then add some extra area using the lasso tool while holding the shift key so it will keep the previous selection. Then I will invert the selection to add shadows only on the outer part. You can use also the pen tool to make very specific selections, but as long as in this case works with a circle shape, it's quicker. Using the same process but with the white color, I will add also signs and highlights or even create a bubble using both shadows and highlights. So I create a path and then I make it a stroke based on the brush tool and whatever settings it has at the moment. For example, if the brush has a large white brush, then the stroke will follow that. So consider that you may have to change the brush settings each time. Then I will select only this new line and draw some signs and shadows on it. Using the pen tool again, I can add some extra signs on the letter using white color this time. Sometimes I also make the signs a bit blurry like that, to make them a bit more realistic. I do that by adding a Gaussian blur effect to the layer. Next I will create some extra bubbles, again by using the pen tool to create a shape, then make a selection of the shape and with the brush tool draw the details of the bubble. On that part, I'm using just the brush tool to draw some extra line details. Following the previous techniques, I add some more things to the design to make it more interesting, but I increase the speed of the playback because this normally takes some hours.
Now I'm going to work with the first word. First I need to add a mask to hide some parts of the word, like creating some kind of a 3D illusion to give some depth. In addition, I will add some shadows to the letters using the pen tool to select an area and then draw with a smooth black brush. So similar to the previous process, I am creating a path, right click and make a selection and then with the brush tool drawing manually the shadows. You can use any color to draw the shadow, but keep in mind that it needs to be a dark color. Then I'm changing the brush to more splatter style and add some splashes on the lower parts of the letters. In general the pen tool is very useful to make selections but also add strokes and you can use it to add many styles of shadows like what I'm doing now. I'm adding some harder shadows following the shapes of the letters. Similar here, I use the pen tool again to add a stroke like an underline. If you can draw the details manually, you can also do what I'm doing now. Add a stroke using a pen tool and then adjust the blending options by right clicking on the layer and add a bevel and emboss effect or a drop shadow. This is much quicker too. Ok, I think the design is almost ready, I just need to add a background image. I have found another nice image online, by the way I will add all the links in the description. So I add the image but I want it to be very dark so I will keep the black color on top and only remove some parts of it with a mask so the image below is shown. Not much, just like that. And then I would like to increase the contrast so I'm going to add an adjustment layer and more specifically the curves. Finally, I will make some copies of the bubbles in different sizes to spread around the design. And that was it. I know it had some quick parts, uh, but the whole design took me more than 4 or 5 hours, so I couldn't include the complete process. However, if this was a bit quick for a tutorial for you, feel free to check my other tutorial videos on my channel which are slower and include more details. I will leave some links for them on the description too. The link for this project file of this design will be available in the description as well as on my Patreon page with all the other project files. Thanks for watching and if you like this video, click the like button, share the video and subscribe for more. Bye.